Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Material Science. Today we're going to talk about Miller indices. And specifically for this video, I'm going to go over point indices and direction indices. Uh, I'll go over plane uh, indices in a different video. But right now, uh, point indices are really pretty simple. Uh, the way to think about uh, indices or Miller indices in general is to think of a cube in space where it has sides A, B, and C. Now, usually the way your professor will do this is ask you a question like, find the Miller indices for uh, one half A, B, C, something like this. So find the Miller indices for these. And hopefully you've been introduced to A, B, C, and C. They're just the sides of this cube. It's a coordinate system. In order to get the point indices, it's, it's really, really simple. You just take the magnitude of each one of these. A magnitude preferably from 0 to 1 because this is a unit cube. In this case, we have 1 half, 1, and 1 are what the magnitudes are. So we have 1 half, 1, and 1. Pretty simple. The way to also look at these to make sure that you have your indices correctly ordered is to consider A is X, B is Y, and C is Z in this coordinate system. So just go ahead and put X, Y, and Z up there so it's clear what we're doing. Take the magnitude, bring it down here, and these are your point indices, very simply. And in order to stay within format, Miller point indices are denoted by uh, normal parentheses. That is how you define that these are point indices. And then when you have to plot, plot them, what you do is you take these values and you just stick them on this plot. So if we're at 1 half A, you can go over here, okay, so at 1 half A, a full B and a full C, hang on, here, let me just double check myself, 1 half A, this is 0, 0, 1 half A, and then a full C and a full B, right here. So this will be your point indice for 1 half, 1, and 1. So what I did was you go 1 half of A, full length of B along this axis basically, so full length of Y, and then a full length of C straight up. And this is your index for that. Alrighty, now for direction indices. For the direction indices, they're a, a little bit uh, weirder, I'm gonna say, uh, just because, yeah, they, they take a little bit more effort and a little bit more nuance to get uh, done correctly. But what direction indices A are are length projections onto this coordinate system basically right here. So I'm gonna set up a little act, uh, another chart as before here. And you're given A, B, and one half C technically. Okay, so for Miller indices, what you wanna do is take these magnitudes right here one, one, and one half. Forget the A, B, and C, because they're, they're technically irrelevant because you're trying to put this into an X, Y, Z. So forget the A, B, C. And then what you wanna do is you wanna normalize and eliminate the fractions. So in order to do that, well, find the common denominator here. Okay, well, we've got a two, so we're gonna turn this into two, two, one, just by multiplying through by two. And this, will be, this is your Miller index, Miller direction indices. And direction indices are denoted by square brackets on each side and technically commas in between. Oh, no, no, no commas. I apologize. Commas and parentheses for point indices, square brackets, and no commas for direction indices. Now, when you're plotting this now on this figure up here, the way it works is this is a normalization. These are not the plotting, uh, the plotting points that you use on this graph. In order to plot it on the graph, you want it on a range from zero to one because it makes it easier on you. And they all start from the origin. So if we're starting from the origin up here on this, we're gonna use these points to plot. And for X, we're gonna go along one. And then for Y, we're gonna go along one. And then for Z, we're gonna go up one half. 
and then you can draw basically a vector. It's not a vector, but it looks like a vector. So just an arrow from the origin to that point. And that is uh, how you draw a direction indice. I may do another video on direction indices just to make, give some more examples, but this is a basic introduction. So for point indices, again, you go ahead, take the magnitudes of the ABC values given, or reverse that, depending on which direction your professor is having you go. For Miller indices, or for the direction indices, square brackets, no commas, and what you want to do is get this basically on a range from normal zero to one. Uh, to get the actual Miller indices, you normalize the ABC values that you're given, and that those are your indices, but then you use these values to actually plot it. All right.